Hey guys, uh, I'm in the midst of playing the second turn and the Russians had picked up initiative so they're playing back-to-back -back turns which is kind of nice for them uh, at the very beginning of the scenario so it's October 5th 1941 and well I, I'm thinking about this knowing what we know and knowing the uh, you know where the SP historically flew uh, to and uh, or flowed to I should say and where um, the short part uh, quite possibly is based on the attacks. The Soviets are thinking that they're going to try and build Fortress Kharkov. Uh, I think we're going to uh, try and build a line of hedgehogs here and push quite a few reinforcements here, protect the rail lines uh, heading east and, and make that a hub that is painful and costly to acquire. That's the, the first thing I'm doing. And the second thing I'm doing is over on the left-hand uh, side of your screen, past the pen over, over there. Those guys over there. We're putting a couple of uh, alert units there as well, and we're going to start uh, building a little bit of uh, strength around Stalino. And a little further east, there's a river there, which is called... <coughs> the Mius, the M-I-U-S River. We use that as a line ahead of Rostov. So basically the job here is to get as much of this stuff out and away from the Germans and trade some space for time. Uh, we've done okay this turn in getting everyone back into trace supply, except this one guy here. We're gonna try and make a, a rescue attack and see if we can save his ass. Uh, even, although, even though he will have to roll for attrition this turn anyway. So that's really what's going on there. And I was even looking at maybe extending a hedgehog line this far up, but I don't know how many of these units I will be able to rescue from whatever the Germans elect to do here. They're fairly spread out and disorganized here. All right, just a quick snippet. There you go. We'll, uh, excuse me, we'll talk to you soon. All right. As we continue the Soviet turn, given we're adjacent here, to, I think this is 4th Panzer, yeah, 4th Panzer, we're going to pop a uh, barrage, air base barrage on them and hopefully give them a nice DG, which will screw them for this turn, slow them down. Similarly here, uh, the erstwhile 18th Panzer is in Orel and we're adjacent there and we're going to put the strategic bombers on them. Big shifts against them but uh it's worth it's worth a, a, a opportunity to make them uh, dg for the turn and in fact we could even do this we could even put one against third panzer and split the two attacks if we wanted to this would have almost no chance so, so let's load up and get those guys that reserve marker comes off there because that's from last turn <clears throat> try to pop them over there somewhere without breaking my fragile tables Put this little guy back here in reserve. I don't think anything's going to happen with him. This turn is just an infantry unit. But if there were, were, meant, were to be an attack, excuse me, an attack there, he can pop up. I've got uh, two further tank brigades there. Um, so we're starting to build a, a layered, skinny but layered defense. We've got these brigades here, then a, another section here and we'll eventually either reinforce here or continue to build in and around Tula. And I'm just about to do this section of the board now. Uh, so we'll get the rest of this done, uh, hopefully in the next 45 minutes or something like that. And we'll see how we go. Did spend an inordinate amount of time uh, refreshing myself as to where everything was at and what we were doing. Uh, so that's kind of uh, lagged up things a bit. It's funny, you're away from a game, even just for a couple of weeks, it often, um, often uh, the rules slip away, particularly for this game, because there's lots of little things, i.e. working units, which I realized I had 12 of, and I can get them onto the map in the first turn, but you can only put six down. So I scramble around, try to find where I put them, because I put them in a special place, go ahead and put 12 down, 
oh, that's right, I can only put six, so then I take six back. Which six am I going to take back? Well, that's 30 minutes just goofing, and I've got, you know, achieved exactly zero. We just kind of steady stating our way through it. So most of them ended up in Kharkov. I showed you that earlier on. Uh, I'll, I'll kind of bind all these little snippets together, and hopefully this will make an interesting uh, uh, Soviet tone video. All right. Hey there, everyone. We're conducting the Germans' second turn after a back-to-back -back Soviet turn, and it's the 5th of October. And what I thought I might do here, I'm trying to understand for myself what might be some reasonable approaches for the Germans to conduct uh, operations up here in the northern part of the map. And we're looking at Rajev here and Vyazma in terms of uh, areas of uh, operations. And it's the third panzer group on the left-hand side, and basically the fourth army and the fourth panzer group on the right-hand side, which you can see just a little bit over there, the guys are there. And here's what I was thinking, you know, the, there's a very dynamic element to this game, but there's also the risk of being overstrung or strung out, as the case may be. And most of the time when I see games being played, it, it seems to be very orderly lines of units and uh, not perhaps this kind of spread out style of play that I have going here. And the, the Soviet line is just a function of the fact that's all the units they have and that's as far as the units could get that they do have, as far as I could work out. And so what my point I'm trying to get to here is that I've got the 19th Panzer here and the 14th Motorized here. And these guys, are uh, I pop them into reserve mode so they can move a total of uh, four movement points in uh, the movement phase and then 16 movement points in the exploitation phase. And that gives them, so that gives them a range of about 20 movement points. And I'm looking at how do I rapidly try and pop uh, some units into position to block rail lines and roads to cut off supply. And in order to do that quickly and efficiently and knock, a po knock out a pocket of units or make the Soviets use up all of their tree bark, and there goes the air conditioner. It's pretty cool here today, uh, tonight. So I uh, got the heater on, sorry for the noise. So uh, what I'm hoping to do here is try and work out a way that I can do that. And what I was looking at is trying to take perhaps the 14th and move them through here and lay a little carpet down uh, for the truck units to pass through with the Panzer group that's here or vice versa, maybe bring the 19th up and that'll probably be about the extent of their movement around here somewhere. Lock down this section, but then take the 14th and push through and, and put a line of units right here. And now that would uh, block the majority. Hang on, let's just check this out. So one, two, three, four. Then one, assuming that we put a line here. One, two, three, four, five, six. 10, we could go to here, 10, 11, 12. So we could actually cut off Viasma and come in closer to Viasma than, rather than reaching deeper down here and being even further out of the supply chain given that this is our primary headquarters that's gonna throw supply the following turn to keep these guys in the supply. Uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 10 so they can be here so they're going to be out of supply which means they would have to feed off either the trucks or we bring supply up which is expensive to do and so that may not be viable to get to Viasma in the neck in this current turn maybe we need to do it in the next turn or perhaps there are elements of the 11th Panzer here and forces here from second panzer that could we that we could redirect this this way or down here this is very weak as a five factor unit I do it in stratmo and uh, if we hit that got to that hex there and once again we'd be well out of supply but if we got somewhere in here we can block supply for a significant number of units um, 
doesn't look attractive. So, you know, I'm talking this through, uh, maybe probably many of you who are watching don't know all the rules. And I don't want to have to recount all the rules to you every time we make a video. So let's just use the basic fundamentals that we have to be within a certain supply range and we obviously don't want to overextend an entire panzer division and let it potentially be cut off if the Soviets, for instance, in the next turn, they get their turn, fine. They uh, move and try to react to potentially being cut off, but if they get a back-to-back -back turn on the next initiative roll and have two turns, that could pose real problems for the Germans who could end up being surrounded and isolated here and have to attack out at either poor odds or use, uh, use up supply that they would not want to use up attacking out or consuming their internal stocks which is a very expensive thing to replace. So uh, I, I'm, I'm wondering about this section here, but I see a big juicy target where we could literally make, have to make attrition rolls for all of these guys and or make them use tree bark, uh, which is an alternate supply mechanism for both sides. But there are only 10 of those tokens and they've used two already. So... That's all I wanted to share. Uh, just trying to give you a feel for what's going on and and how I'm approaching the game. Don't feel like I'm playing either side particularly well yet, but there's a gazillion pieces on the board and I think we have the opportunity to make as many mistakes as we like. <laughs> oh gosh. And just kind of deal with it. Um, and in fact, uh, I have to remember where this DG was, which was here, I believe, the 7th Panzer. That's right, all these guys moved half, the 7th Panzer were DG'd. Uh, so anyway, we've been shuffling bits around and then I've had to stop playing and come back to it. So here we go. That's all I had to share with you. Look forward to talking to you soon. If you have ideas, thoughts, suggestions, pop them up on the YouTube channel. I'll take a look at them. Uh, I will be posting this up and probably not moving much else in this segment of the maps. I'm going to try and get through uh, moving everything except for the reserve units. And then I'll cycle back and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. Talk to you soon. So uh, what, I, that, what that means is that you'll have an opportunity to comment. And I'll take your comments in and at least have a look at what... Uh, you're suggesting to see if there's something that I could do differently than uh, what I perhaps am seeing here. Cheers.